Okay, I am just signing in. Let's have a look. Now, if anyone's there, I am not um, going to show my face today. I have got a terrible cold. I've taken some pills to um, dry me up so I'm not snotty while I'm talking to you, but um, I just look very bedraggled uh, and I just thought, no, um, you'll have to go without seeing my face today. <coughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you'll survive. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking um, the worst for wear and um, I just thought, well, that's okay. Um, we don't need to flip over um, and all that jazz. So today I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Have you seen this fun page uh, on page 104 and 105? Um, hi, Cindy, how are you? Uh, welcome. Um, I just think, have you seen this fun page? This has got goats and zebras, etc., on it. And I just couldn't resist the goats. I mean, if everyone knows about me and has been here for um, the session where the goats... Oh, I, I do too. It's horrible. Oh, hi, Sharon. Um, oh, it's rotten getting a cold, I must admit. I've forgotten um, it's like, but that's okay, I'm sure. Yes, yeah, so with me and my goats, and the goats have been a real feature in my life um, recently. We have had our, we got originally got two goats, and then one uh, took off and spent some time with the wild bunch and uh, got pregnant, and so we ended up with a boy. Um, there was twins, but um, the girl didn't survive. And then recently we rescued um, a baby goat, which we've since sold on because we just don't have the grass, etc., for another goat. But um, <clears throat> we, they are, oh my gosh, they are hard work, but they are characters. Oh my goodness, they are characters. Yes, the other day, Friday, I think it was, before nine o'clock this was, I looked out my window and there, there they were taking off down the road. One of them was on heat. They were so fast down the road that by the time I got the bucket with the food and ran down and that I couldn't see them, so we drove down in the car, eventually got them on the leads, and I'm trying to walk them back. And unbeknownst to us, they're actually quite scared of the car. So I'm holding on to them, holding on to the leads, running, and I'm nearly toppling forward. Caitlin's behind me in the car. She's laughing so much that she can hardly drive. And they're taking off. I needed a skateboard or something because I would have just shot down the road. It was I had to let them go in the end. But yeah, lots and lots of stories about goats. So, of course, I had to buy the goats. But I also wanted to share with you today a fantastic tool. I don't know if you've seen these in the colouring tool section. Um, it's called the Water Painters. Oh my goodness, I got the um, set and used the fat one. Um, I don't know what you'd call it, but let's have a look what it says. 11. It says... Water painters, whole black wood, uh, three painters, one fine tip, one medium, one large flat brush. It is just so easy to use. It's lovely. So, let me put that to one side. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, and this is the goat stamp. So, there are some cute, cute little images of these goats. Now, my son wanted me to make some uh, cards for the teachers to say thank you. So, I made them and this is what they look like um he couldn't decide which one he liked best in regards to the image so i did one of each um they are just super super cute and i thought it was just quite neutral because there's um female and male teachers so it was just good to have a, a combination of the two i thought but look at their faces they're just adorable my goats are actually white though the male goat um has got a bit of brown in them um but i thought i'd color these a little bit brown and i'll color them brown today with some some uh, stamping blends so they're all ready to go so the aqua pen i'm going to be using it today now where is it here it is um this is the flat the flat broad tip so it is quite a lot bigger and these are the other two that come with it um, so one's fatter and one's more fine 
So we're just using the fat one today. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is just, I just wanna add some stripes. So I'll show you what I've done. Um, so this is just mixing some ink with some of our shimmer paint. Um, and I've just got the all-purpose um, frost white and just using the brush to go across with them some stripes. I just love how they turned out. They're all, um, you know, not uniform. They're just lovely and um, different shapes, which I really like. I hope that water blaster out there is not too loud. We're getting the fence ready to paint. So I hope that's not annoying. Um, so let's have a go. So I'm going to put a little bit. Now what I use, and it, I find it's a good hint, when your when Costellas run out, uh, they're really good for using for uh, the all-purpose frost white shimmer paint because um, you don't have to wash them off like a aqua pen or something like that. So I just find using, now you don't need much um, of this. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle. There we go. Hi, Cheryl. Okay. Now I'm going to just pop a little bit of ink on one side. This is the green. This is the Granny Apple Green. And this is balmy blue. So I don't want to mix the inks, but I just want to mix them with the shimmer. So I am going to drop a bit of water on there. I'll just use that to drop onto there. So, I mean, you could make this dark if you wanted to. Uh, there's no reason you can't um, intensify intensify it to whatever you whatever you like so I've got some of the uh, watercolor paper the hundred fluid uh, watercolor paper I think it's called and I'm just going to mix a little bit of this with a little bit of that and just going to swipe across as easy as that and if you want to make a skinny one you just do it on the side so you can make it skinny as well or build up the size and it just really really flows on so if I want to make it a little bit darker it just really flows on beautifully just so easy and so cool to make these stripes and I'll just do a skinny one there Right, so I'll just wash that. Way too much ink, of course, but I just tried to get it all drop. Um, right, just got a bit of water over here. Just wipe that there, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of the green. Oh, that's creating a little, cute little pattern in there. Okay. One more, I'll do another skinny one. But honestly, it just flows on, just flows on beautifully. So cool, I'm really in love with these. So I just wanted to show you how easy it was to use them, just super, super easy. And look at that, I've just added that bit of shimmer and it just really does um, add a little bit of something special on the, on the color. So I'll set that one aside to dry. I better use one of my tissues that I've got here in case I've got a runny nose and wipe that down. <clears throat> and we will make, um, I will stamp a couple of goats and we will color those in and we're gonna put the card together. So I'm gonna use one of these ones. So I'm just gonna use some Stampin' Blends. So just with Memento, because as we all know, we use Memento with the blends. Um, and if you're doing water colouring, you need the stays on. Oh, look at that cute face. Um, and the other one I will use is, where are my, where are my goats? Uh, the guy with the flower, I think. 
So I guess the goats aren't everyone's um, cup of tea, but I just thought, well, I couldn't resist with, um, as you know, having, having the goats myself. Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly color these. And we're gonna put a card together. My main thing really was to show you, we'll show you the stamps, but also to show you um, the aqua painter. Okay, so I have used light crumb cake. Oh, I'm probably just coloring one, but I've used light crumb cake to just go over the goat for the light base. So I like to just start off. Now when you're doing this, um, don't oversaturate and don't go too close to the edge because if you oversaturate, it will bleed out past the, past the ink. So we're not wanting to um, go out too far. Okay. Now I've got the new dark cinnamon cider. Doesn't that sound nice? Dark cinnamon cider. So I'm just gonna add some shadow where I think there would be some shadow with the dark cinnamon. So really doing this, it's entirely up to you. I mean, I'm coloring these guys sort of brown, but you can color them um, gray. I think the ones in the, uh, the ones in the catalog are a whitey gray color. My goats, as I say, are more of a whiter color. So I'd probably do one and cut it out and put it on a different background next time. And I'm just going to use, oh, bye Sharon. <laughs> I will use uh, the light now to blend that in to the rest of it. So I do quite like this uh, cinnamon cider, I must admit. I wasn't sure when I first saw it, but I have um, in the card that I'll be completing with the goats, etc. today, um, is got the base for some cinnamon cider in it. So, um, yeah, I quite like it now, actually. It is cute, Trish. It's really cute. Um, I like the zebra one too, but I thought oh, I'll definitely have to get the goat. Definitely have to get the goats. Now, I'm just going back to the light crumb cake and I am just blending these colors together now. I've used this one a lot so that the tips are getting a little bit mushy. That's all right. So that just blends them. Blends them all together. And I am now going to I'll just a bit more under there. Going to do the horns. These are sort of um, more of a brownie caramel colour, but I just thought they look quite. Oh, you're going to have to, Trish. You're going to have to. They are super cute. I'm just was just saying at the beginning of the video how much this is the darker. Um, dark smoky slate just for the hooves how much um they're not boring animals put it this way not boring at all always something happening with the goats my goodness so um i've just colored that in so i've actually colored some out earlier and this might be a bit drier now actually yeah it doesn't take too long oh, a little bit blue that's all right um and I have cut some out previously. Um, I have stamped actually before I, um, I have used this cute, this little cute stamp here too, which is like grass and just popped it around the hooves. Like so, that really looks good. I love having things like um, animals or plants, anything like that. I love having them anchored. I don't like them 
floating, so to speak. So that, that little bit of grass that stamp that comes with that is perfect. Okay, pop that aside and I will show you what I have already done because there was just another technique that I wanted to. So this is the um, cinnamon cider paper. It is, uh, I quite like it actually. As I say, I was a little bit undecided when I first saw it. I'll turn that around on the back, that's all right. I can sort that out later. Um, but I really do like it now. So I am going to pop this on. Have I cut that down small enough? Yes, I have. So I'm going to glue that. Yes, they are super amazing goats. They're so intelligent. And when you, um, I can be upstairs, right up high, and they will see the slightest movement. Their eyesight is incredible. Okay. Now, I have just got... Now, I've pre-cut these out, and I just wanted to show you what I wanted to do with these. I sort of wanted to give them a little bit of a... Um, 3D effect. So I'll stick them on to the circle. So what I've done is I've there's also a sentiment in there got I got you a cake and then on the inside I'm going to stamp but I ate it um, which is at the other stamp it, that's in here. So I'm just going to glue I just cut these out with the smallest circles in the um, nesting circle dies. Got your cake. Oops. Now this one I used the two inch and the two and a quarter inch punches. So that was easy Oop. Um, for this one. So I'll glue this one on. And as I say, I used I'll just show you. <clears throat> the, uh, the layering circles frame nuts. Yeah, very handy. It's so, so cute. Okay. And we'll glue this one onto here. So these are also cut out in the cinnamon. Cinnamon cider. There we go. Now, what I wanted to show you is that I just wanted to make it a little bit 3D. So a way of doing that is you can cut out some parts if you wanted a hand or a hoof or a leg or an arm or something like that if someone's side on. You can actually build up your um, <clears throat> picture by um, stamping it and just cutting out portions of the image that you've got. And I've decided I wanted the head to be um, a little bit more 3D for both of these. Um, and so I have Cut that out and just drawn around the edge. You don't need to colour the whole thing in because obviously you're not going to be seeing the uh, rest of it. So you just position that on there. And I thought I'd do this one with three. So I've just got a dimensional on the back. And that really now looks... Um, 3D, like his head is sticking out, um, which I thought would be quite good for like a scene with him sticking his head through the fence or something like that, which our goats are always doing. Um, this one I tried a couple more, but it didn't look quite right, just the angle of the head. So I decided to keep that, to keep that there. And just take that bit of the flower. Put on these before and cut them all so that you didn't have to watch me doing a whole lot of fussy cutting. Okay, so what I need to do is go and get, I have not got my ribbon which I thought was here, my, uh, hmm, that's all right, I'll go whip out and get it. So I'm going to pop these, I thought I might pop that one there and then this guy there. So, 
We can pop these on actually beforehand. So I won't put this one on dimensionals because his head is already, his head is already poking up. <clears throat> There's just so many different things that you can do with these guys, that's for sure. Um, I was just having a play and then I thought, oh, actually I'll um, do this with you guys and just show you these new water painters and the goats, of course. Okay. It's absolutely pouring out there at the moment. Oh, thanks, Nicolia. Aren't they cute? I just love them. Love them. <laughs> right. And then... Actually, now I might put that on dimensionals. I think it needs to stick up a little bit. So it's endless what you can do. I thought I'd, I might do a little scene actually I had in mind when I started. I thought I might do something with it like a fence or something with them sticking their head through the fence. Our goats are always doing that. We've got a chicken area and honestly they push that f fence, push that fence until they make a hole and they start eating because the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, even for goats. And so they're always trying to get grass from somewhere else. Right, now I'm just going to run and get my, yeah, I quite like that colour combo, I must admit, I quite like the cinnamon, cinnamon cider, I'm just getting rid of it. Okay, so I thought, I didn't, haven't got the cinnamon cider ribbon, I must admit, but I have got this, which is pretty yet you still love them here, my goats. Well, honestly, they are endless, endless entertainment. They really are. They are just, yeah. So I'm just gonna tie a knot in this. As I say, they are so intelligent. Right. And so I'll probably cut it about there. There we go. What shall I go this way? Which way? Shall I go up and down or across? Let me know, up and down or across. Get a couple of bits of tape. Anyone out there? Where is my... <clears throat> No one, no one got any thoughts? I like it across, okay? Across it is. Up and down. <laughs> uh, one more. Hmm. Okay, up and down, because that's where it is now. <laughs> okay. Just going to put a bit of tape there. And some dimensionals. Where did I have them? Please see I'm using all my little bits, all my corners and edges. Cool. 
So I'm sure I'm going to get so much fun out of using these aqua painters. I love um, colouring backgrounds, doing watercolour and all that sort of stuff. So I can see it's going to be very good. The bristles are really soft and they're so smooth to use as well. Now, pop that on. And I have got some little, I did have my spatula thing here, but I don't know, I don't know, things seem to walk. Never mind. I've got these uh, in-coloured uh, enamel dots. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Yeah, it's, it's fun. I just sort of do something fun and, and share the goats and whatnot. Um, a fun card for a change. And I've even got a flower on here. Look at that. I've still got a flower. <laughs> These dots are cute, actually, I must admit. And on the inside, I am just going to stamp the words, um, and I don't think I've even put the back on it, so I probably, um, but I ate it. Um, quickly put that on. Quickly put that on, and, but I ate it. Where's that? Oh. If I have put it on, it's gone. Oh no, here it is. So I probably would put a little uh, goat inside as well. But I'll just put these words in for now probably put the little goat that I um that I did just before and use a bit of black ink isn't that just oh, it just laughing oh. but I ate it there we go so I hope you enjoyed that. I loved making this card. As I was in the middle of making it and I thought, oh no, I'll, I'll wait and um, share the brush with you and share the goats. And I just wanted to also show you about um, creating a bit of a 3D effect um, with layering. Um, as I say, you can do it with arms or legs or anything like that. I've done it with his little head and that little head there. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you really love the goat stamp. Um, and if you have got it and have got anything you've made, love to see it. So take care, everyone, and I will see you again next week. Cheers. Oh, won't finish. <laughs>